quiet physics what are the marks what are the questions what are the very time you would have for those questions in your examination and how would they really look in this video you would learn all that just like you know that when you're talking about science subjects we have necessity, necessity of what's practical so that you understand the concepts so there will be objective parts there will be theory parts and there will be the practical parts generally we have paper one two three so paper one and three would be based on practical why the paper one will be for school candidates the paper three will be for the private candidates i've analyzed that in one of my videos so paper two would be for objective and let me start from there we're talking about this objective part you have that to be section a and um, also this paper two also we have theory part as well there that's section b so the objective part now we have 1.25 hours that's um 75 minutes for that very question will be given for uh, for 50 mark and how many questions 50 questions just know that i have one mark for one question i'm talking about the theory part as well 90 minutes and you'll be given part one and part two you'll be given questions on part one and part two so part part one would be you'll be tested on 10 questions like they will give you 10 questions you have to pick five out of those questions so and this would amount to 15 marks so just know that it's around 3 3 marks per question in this very part why part two we have three of five questions so you have to pick three or five questions and each of those questions will be 15 marks so total of what 45 marks uh like in that very part two so generally the parts in that very part you have 60 marks so objective the general mark is 50 or a theory the general mark is what 60 marks also the practical part which is paper one and paper three will be for 165 minutes that's 2.75 minutes then you have 50 marks you will contend for 50 marks and uh, the questions will be 25 marks each because you will be given three questions and you will be able to pick just two out of those questions it's not like chemistry that you have to do all those questions and this very question per question you have part a and part b so part a will be 21 marks here you'll be tested on something on precautions and the reason for the experiment so you know, you know the experiment generally why i'm talking about the part b that has four marks so it will be two marks each for those questions because you'll be given two questions on other part b and then um, you'll be given two short answered questions related to the very experiment actually the, for the practical aspects i would like you to understand that there will be enough instructions so just understand the concepts according to them you don't really need to learn it by art because you'll be given the instructions for that very practical to be done and also uh you just use this to know how well you understand the concept of the nature of that very scientific investigation so make sure you would and some questions will be country, uh, country specific as well In summary objective would be 31.25 percent theory will be 37.5 percent that's the highest of all while practical will be 31.25 percent notice that i will i will meet you in the next video Bye-bye.